Hello, good day, happy day my friends. I'm just gonna dive into this Q&A, but before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you that left such beautiful, supportive comments on my last video. I was not expecting that I'm like, is anyone even here still, you know what I mean? Just because it's been so long, but it was like overwhelming the amount of love and support that I got. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you that are still here and that are still willing to follow my journey even if it's a little bit different from what it used to be so thank you with that being said let's get into the Q&A there's not that many questions which is it's good because the questions that we did get are really good questions and I feel like they're gonna be kind of lengthy but I'm gonna try to like keep it pretty straightforward and not you know not ramble too much because I tend to do that how has your pregnancy been cravings sickness what is your current diet and lifestyle how often do you work out and what style pre and during pregnancy? So how has my pregnancy been? My pregnancy has been so smooth. I'm like, <laughs> it's funny because like in a way I feel like an asshole for being like, it's been so good. Like I didn't really get morning sickness and I get cramping here and there and maybe like a little bit queasy during the first uh, three months, which is usually when women um, experience morning sickness but for me it's been like so smooth and I guess I shouldn't feel bad for like having such a good pregnancy because one every pregnancy is different and you know just because this time around has been so smooth it doesn't mean that the ones to come if that does happen um, will be smooth but I guess maybe some of it has to do with like my lifestyle and my habits and what I do do on a daily basis to like keep my body in balance because I know sometimes like okay that's me about to ramble so I'm not going to go there but just saying that um it's been really really smooth it's been I've been blessed honestly we'll see how this last month and a half goes but for as of right now I have like zero complaints um the first trimester I would get a little bit queasy and then I would just eat something and it would go away or like have some orange juice and that was pretty much it but I always say this I'm like the only thing that really got to me was like the emotional aspect and how sensitive I was but I feel like even before my pregnancy I was already kind of like that <laughs> I feel like the more that I've you know done work on myself and actually allowed myself to feel my emotions I'm just a really emotional person <laughs> pregnancy has kind of made it a lot worse and it's you know it's forced me to not force me I shouldn't say that because like I know that a big part of the reason why I chose to like incarnate this body and come into this life is to do the work and to like you know peel the layers and remove those triggers or at least learn how to maneuver them um, but it's definitely like help me go deeper and do those things because I'm so much more aware of them since they do come up so much more often and like for no reason a lot of the time so <laughs> that's the only thing um for cravings I've literally the only thing that I've really really craved I think I mean maybe Nicholas would have something different to say but um I would say it has been just like Colombian food uh, and my mom came in February so it's now May so a few months ago but she cooked everything that I was craving and what she couldn't make she brought literally like brought from Colombia with her <laughs> and um, it's funny because like a lot of that stuff is still frozen in the fridge and I'm actually gonna give it to my aunt when she comes in a little bit because I'm like I'm not gonna eat that I just wanted one and like the craving kind of was gone so literally like arepas caldo de papa which is just like soup with potatoes which i've actually been making often with just like added veggies to give it more nutrition but um oh hot dog colombian hot dogs which i also made at home so like what i have been craving i've literally just kind of made at home but it's been just like a lot of colombian food and a lot of things that i used to eat in my childhood Let's see, how often do you work out and what style of pre and during pregnancy? So pre-pregnancy, if I'm not mistaken, I was just doing mostly yoga. I would go to the gym like maybe a couple times a week here and there. <laughs> like I would probably go to the gym like 
four times a month, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but yoga always like definitely was something that whether it was at a studio or just at home I would always keep it in my daily routine even if it's just like 10 to 20 minutes or even if I'm just like walking out Callie to her little playtime field which I'm sure you guys will get to see down the road <laughs> um, I would just like do some poses and flows um, as I was playing with her so uh, pre-pregnancy that was it um, during pregnancy the first trimester I didn't really have that much energy I mean it wasn't like super super bad like I had energy but um, I just remember that for a little bit of it I wasn't working out too much or actually even doing like a lot of yoga I was just kind of going for walks and I work a lot on my feet so that also helps um, but for a little while I did try to incorporate just at home workouts and that was like taking a toll on my body just because I was exerting energy that I didn't have and I was like doing short little 30 to 45 minute full body workouts two times a week and like by the time that like lunchtime came around I was just like so grumpy so tired not myself just because like I had exerted so much energy that I didn't have so um, I kind of backed off on that but then from the second trimester on I actually got a gym membership and I was doing group fitness classes like three times a week and they were pretty intense they were like an hour long and everything was just like back to back um, some were cardio based some were strength training base but I just kind of listened to my body and stayed away from a lot of ab exercises just because I know that that um, if you look into it, it can cause diastasis recti which is like your ab separating and um, it's just not recommended during pregnancy there's some ab exercises that you can do which you can also look into or I can make a video on that later down the road um, but other than that I just you know listened to my body kept the weight pretty low and now that I'm in my third trimester, I work out one to twice or three times a week, at, at least once, like, <laughs> at least. If I can at least get that one full body workout, I'm good. Um, and then I do yoga like every other day, you know, when I'm not working out, I'm usually doing like at least like a 20 to 30 minute flow, 45 minute flow, it depends how much time I have in the morning. And um, also taking Callie out for walks or just for playtime and as far as lifestyle goes it's honestly like it changes every day i feel like some days i wake up and i'm just like i'm gonna juice and i'm gonna do yoga and i'm gonna meditate and i'm gonna do all the things and then other days i'm just like i don't want to do oh cali bear woke up <laughs> she's wearing a diaper hi baby good morning <laughs> She normally doesn't sleep with us, but last night I felt like letting her sleep with us so the diaper had to go on, giving me good practice for the baby. As far as lifestyle goes, it really honestly does change every day. I do try to keep a routine. I do try to do my yoga every day, meditate every day. Um, lately it's been really, really good, but during the first couple, like, I don't know, all of coronavirus, like quarantine has been kind of like up and down and it's it's honestly been really hard to like, stay motivated and like want to keep like pushing and working and moving forward when like the world is literally at a standstill and we were we're very blessed to like half work during this time but like with the baby with coronavirus <laughs> it was like so tough to like <clears throat> have a routine and just like keep going and keep moving forward when you know there's just like no momentum for me whatsoever but some days were good some days were not so great uh but as of right now like everything's really well you know like um i feel like i'm finally finding a routine again and this is what i guess my lifestyle would look like right now wake up do yoga meditate um spend some time with like nick and cal uh i've been doing a lot of smoothies for breakfast and then after that i usually dive into work or if i want to do like any type of content creation which i don't really spend that much time doing anymore but i'm slowly getting back to it which i really really i'm happy about because it's like a part of myself that it just really it makes me feel creative and inspired so and then i usually make some lunch make some dinner 
I spent a lot of my time cooking in the kitchen and just trying different recipes and trying to like perfect staples that I want to have to just be like this is my base and I can go so many places from here um, and then because finally uh, here in Florida the all the rules and regulations with coronavirus are finally being lifted. Um, we've been seeing friends often, so that's been really nice, but um, I try to, like, I really do my best to just stay, like, what I just expressed to you is, like, my ideal lifestyle, and that's definitely how I enjoy to live the most, and when I do live this way, I, that's when I feel like my highest, and I feel most connected to myself, and I feel like I'm vibrating at a higher frequency. But sometimes, like, work gets really busy. I don't have the energy to cook, and I don't have the energy to, like, do a lot of the things that fuel me, and I end up falling into the habits of, like, ordering in, and maybe not working out, or not doing my yoga, or not meditating, because, you know, I slept in because I was tired, and, these things happen and they have happened and I've just kind of, I'm still learning. I was going to say I, I've just learned, but I'm still learning to just like be at peace with those cycles when they come because like it literally, they are cycles. Like I feel like the universe is just always happening at the same time. Like when clients want something, they all want it at the same time. So it's like when we have stuff going on, it's for everyone. It's either really busy or it's not. Um, so yeah, that's why it's kind of hard to give like just one word answer for what my lifestyle is like right now, but I really, really do my best to just like do those little things like working out, yoga, meditation, cooking, spending time with friends and family, because like those are the things that literally just like make me feel so good. <laughs> what has been the biggest shift in your mindset when transitioning from fitness as your life to part of? Did you struggle letting that just be part of you? So I think the part of myself that has been, or I guess, yeah, has been hard to let go of has been like, I guess the discipline, the willpower that I had. Um, definitely some days how I looked, I'm just like, dang. I wish I still had those legs, <laughs> especially now. <laughs> but then I kind of check myself and I'm like, dude, come on, like, <laughs> for what? You know, and like, if I really wanted to, I could get back to that. But um, I would say definitely like, just like the discipline, willpower and like vision that I had. I feel like when I was in the fitness world, I had so much going and there was so much momentum and I was always so busy, which is, it's really good mentally, you know, like it's good to take breaks, it's good to slow down, it's good to take a step back, but it's also really good to just like have that momentum in life where you just feel like you're moving forward and you're achieving and you're doing things because that's kind of like what the human ego thrives on. So it's a part of, of our nature and it's a part of what we come here to do in my opinion, you know, like we have a purpose, we wanna live it out, we wanna accomplish it. And I feel like when I was in fitness, I very much had that um, and now shifting out of it and kind of like taking a step back to really understand where I want to go forward or how I want to move forward. Um, I definitely don't really have a lot of that clarity that I used to have or used to think that I had. Um, so I think that's been the hardest part definitely is just like not feeling like I have a clear vision of where I'm going, even though back then I definitely fully didn't. I still feel like I kind of like knew where I was going and like I knew what I wanted and you know one day I woke up and I was like wait that's not what I want and that's what like this time I guess like that's what has really helped me shift my mindset has been like hey you know like when I get into those traps where I'm just like oh, I like I really miss that drive and like discipline and determination that I used to have I kind of like check myself by saying like but do you really want to wake up again three or four years down the road and ask yourself like, what am I doing this for? So this time um, where I'm shifting my mindset is more so in saying like, you need to take a step back before you can take a step forward. You really need to think through what you want. You need to sit down and visualize it and 
put it on and live it in your mind to really understand if that's what you want. So like even with coming back to YouTube, it's it took a lot of thinking. I've been thinking about it for like maybe six months now or maybe even longer, but I really wanted to like ask myself like, what is the purpose? I feel like back in the day when I was in fitness, there was no thinking it through. It was just like, go, 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 go. And that's because that's why one day I woke up and I was just like, why am I doing this? Who am I? <laughs> uh, the third question was, how did you guys meet? Meaning me and Nicholas. And what am I doing for work now? Would you recommend a retreat in yoga anywhere? I'm interested in Costa Rica where you drink that drink and see your soul. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm guessing she's talking about ayahuasca. Um, Nicholas and I met at my yoga school here in Florida. So back when I decided to stay, I was actually taking a 100 hour advanced teacher training. And that was after I had gotten back from my travels in Southeast Asia and Colombia and all of that. So he was sitting in on one of the classes that we had. And then we were introduced by a friend and just things kind of evolved from there. Um, and what I am doing for work now, I'm actually working with him, we work together. So he's been working in the beverage industry for like, I think like nine years now. And um, as you guys know, I have a pretty strong, I would say like pretty strong background in nutrition, but still I feel like I've barely scratched the surface just because there's like still so much to learn. But I kind of get to use what I know with nutrition and like the functionality of um, certain ingredients to help with innovation so i get to also help with the formulations which is basically just like putting recipes together for beverages and it's pretty fun um i can't always say that i see it that way just because i don't know i feel like sometimes work is just work <laughs> but um on good days it's <laughs> it's really fun and i get to use a lot of my creativity and a lot of what i've also learned in like my cooking courses and all of that and um i get to just kind of let my creativity flow and create beverages that are just like are beyond just a drink but also have some type of functionality or purpose to them which also makes me feel like i'm doing something with a little bit more meaning than just like creating another product that's going to go out into an industry that's like oversaturated in my opinion <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I could also go a little bit more into detail if you guys wanted me to. Would I recommend a retreat in yoga anywhere? So I've actually only done, I mean, it wasn't even a retreat. It was my yoga teacher training in India. So I guess you can call it a yoga retreat because I was doing yoga from like six in the morning till like 7 p.m. at night. And we ate there, we slept there. It all happened there and that was 27 days straight in Dharamshala in India and I can put their website down below. I've heard that things have kind of changed so it's been a while. It's been like two or three years since I did that. Oh my god, time flies. Um, so I don't want to recommend it just because I don't know what it's like now. I think a lot of the teachers that used to work there back then that taught me are gone so I feel like it's kind of hard to recommend it just because you really like you know things change so um but if you're feeling called to do that i would recommend just like putting that out there like opening that thought out to the universe and then seeing like what pops up and you know i feel like nowadays our phones can hear everything we're saying so if you say i want to go to a yoga retreat in costa rica you'll most likely end up having ads on like your facebook and your instagram so <laughs> that's definitely not the universe talking but um i feel like eventually you'll get a sign or something or you'll talk to someone and they'll tell you about this really great retreat that they just went on um and that could be a really good way to find a place to go and do that and same with like ayahuasca it's definitely um, something that I would really 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 strongly recommend looking into and learning and understanding before you even like have the thought of going on a journey um, I've never done it myself but I just consider the plan to be very extremely sacred and I don't think it's something for everyone I think you really have to be 
in a specific place in your life and in your journey to expose yourself to that kind of truth um, because it can it can do damage I'm like getting chills just talking about it <laughs> it really can so um, just make sure that if you really are feeling called to do it and it's not just like something that you heard someone talk about and you're like oh that sounds kind of fun um, that you really like you know sit with it and really understand where it's coming from before you make that decision because in my opinion just because like I really perceive it this way and that's just like I guess the perspective I've created myself um, I just think it's really sacred and special and it's definitely gonna open up you up to a lot of things some things that you don't want to see and if you're not prepared to see them they could do a lot of damage so just something to keep in mind hello there that video got really, really lengthy, so I decided to just cut up the Q&A into two separate videos so I'm not overwhelming you guys with all of this footage of me just like rambling on about all kinds of things. Just wanted to quickly say that the next video will be coming up within the next couple of days, so thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking around if you did make it this far, um, and I'm excited to see you guys again sometime soon. Catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.